Ava. Hey, Dre, um, just from your perspective, what went on specifically in the, the first couple of minutes of the fourth quarter where it looked like the offense was maybe stagnating a little bit? Um, I mean, we just got to get some flow. Um, honestly, just more so of us getting downhill and, you know, making plays for each other uh, and getting into our offense. That's, that's really it. And um, Scott Brooks has said he's been searching for a little bit of consistency off the bench. Through the first three quarters, it looked like you guys came off and, and were able to do everything pretty much you wanted. What was different tonight in the first three quarters? And then why do you think that didn't carry over necessarily towards the end of the game? Um, I feel like the biggest thing right now is just like coming off the bench. We have to bring that energy. Um, we had a talk in the locker room. And even last year, we were like top 15 and like scoring and pace coming off the bench. And so we have to replicate that this year. And so that's the biggest thing is just coming in with that fire and, you know, playing defense and making sure we're getting stops and getting out on the other end. Thanks, Troy. Fred. Fred. Hey, Troy. Um, Brad, Brad mentioned he thought you guys got too comfortable when you had the big lead. Um, what do you have to do to not be too comfortable in those kinds of moments moving forward? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, that's the fourth or what the third, fourth quarter, like time that we've we lost the fourth quarter. And at the end of the day, we, that's on us um, as players. We have to come out and accept responsibility for that and know that we have to come out and bring that energy. And I agree with Brad. We definitely got too comfortable. And, you know, even though we were up 17, that doesn't give us any excuse to let our foot off the gas or to not keep playing hard because coaches give an opportunity. So. Sure. What, what, um, what, is there a common thread in your estimation and what's going on in these three fourth quarters? Um, I mean, it's a lot of things. I mean, it's not just one thing particular. Uh, we definitely have a bunch of things that we have to go over and make sure that we have set in stone, but just anything from letting people get to the basket too easy, uh, post-ups, um, even over helping and giving up easy buckets, backdoor cuts, kick out threes on offensive rebounds. This is a lot of stuff and we gotta we gotta stop taking that fourth quarter lead for granted. That's the second time now, especially here at home. Neil. Hey Troy, obviously not the result you guys wanted, but you were able to get going offensively a little bit. What was working well for you today? Um, I mean, the biggest thing for me was just coming out and just you know, given 110, uh, I wanted to start this game off just playing defense and then from there letting the game come to me. And, you know, Ish did a really good job of finding me in some open spots early on. Um, I mean, I know I'm capable of hitting shots at the end of the day. I just got to find my niche and then from there, you know, get going. So, Any other questions for Troy? Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you all.